guys. Hi. It's Sarah and Philippa from We Are Twinset. Welcome back to our channel. We are super excited today. We're doing something, a bit of a roundup. We haven't done it in absolutely yeah. ages. It was our intentions to do like a monthly roundup and then just- Life gets in the way. Life gets in the way and different kind of content yeah. comes first. But today we thought we'd film, we've had a few nice things come in. And also yeah. I guess it's the beginning of the summer. So a few nice, treats that we wanted to show you it's sometimes really hard to um show you the small stuff i know and also it's like we might have a great new lipstick but then where does that fit in so we thought with the monthly favorites video it'd be a great way to show you a few fashion bits a few beauty bits and a few home bits should we start with beauty let's do it so first up for beauty got to share this new lipstick that we found from chanel called boy and boy is it good. And boy is it good. So I'll tell you the reasons why it's good. Obviously we love Can our- we have three reasons? Okay, look, I'm gonna give you three reasons. Why? I haven't, haven't thought about them, but we're gonna go with the flow. So number one, we love our Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk. And I would say my lips tend to be really quite pale without anything on. I know yours are more ready. Um, so I need still use Some with something color. with colour. But I'm gonna show you this lovely, it's almost like a sheer, natural, summery, beautiful texture. When I say shiny, not sticky. Just kind of glides on. Exactly, so I'm just gonna put it over. I don't have any on right now. I'm just gonna put it over. And can you see? It's a really good color. Can you see? <laughs> it's a really, really lovely, natural nude. And I'm so going you're saying you need to wear for you you need for to wear something that's a little bit. Well, yeah, and I, I when I wear it, I can wear it more on like safe. So. But it would be good if you just want to do a liner and fill in your lips yeah. and put that on. Or I think when I go on holiday next week, um, you know, if I want to just in the evening swipe you, it on, you don't yeah. want to feel too like got so much makeup on, just to put it on a nice little natural glow with a slight tint. So that's reason number one that I love it. Reason number I've two, got one. go on. It's moisturising. Very moisturising. It doesn't. I think sometimes with the kind of shiny, glossy, I mean, no, it's not a gloss, but those shiny lipsticks, after a while, they can dry out your lips, yeah. and this one doesn't. And reason number three is Chanel, and it's nice to have a little Chanel lippy in your bag. And I think it'd be a great gift for someone as well. Exactly. Because I feel like it's a universal color yeah. that it would go for anyone. anyone so if you've got like the darker it. lips or the lighter lips, you know, for anyone, it'd be a great gift for a special birthday. So, Chanel boy, number one, what have you got? Number two, this new stick from Milk Makeup. I am so intrigued to know what this is. I'm a super fan of Milk Makeup. I love Xana, she's the kind of guru, guru behind the makeup brand. It's all cruelty free and everything is in a stick form. Now I saw this on a video, I think it was on YouTube, it's a cooling stick. Okay, now if you don't believe me, give me your hand. Nice. So where, it's cool. Where, it's where would you use it? So I use it in the morning to wake up my face. So it all around. Yeah, and especially eyes. It just kind of gives you that zing. I always feel in the morning I've got really tired eyes, really heavy face. And I kind of use it almost like a primer, or you could use or a primer instead as of well. like washing your face. <laughs> I do recommend you wash your face as well. But it really does something. I really, really like it. It just I've never tried anything like this before. And I think with these things, when you find new things and you're almost like, oh, I was missing that in my makeup bag. And it doesn't affect your makeup. Once well, because it, it yeah, you, you let it dry. Fine. Um, and I really, really like it. I mean, it's not a makeup in itself, it's more of like a a treatment for the face, shall we say. But I really, really like it, and all their sticks are amazing. I know we've spoken about the kind of the, the blusher one. Yeah, the blusher like. lip one that I love, and yeah, I'm a super fan. Number three for Number beauty. three, could not talk about our beloved Charlotte Tilbury and the new palette. This is called Lovegasm. Of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> now, what's inside, you ask? I know, because I do that. <laughs> <laughs> it is the most Beautiful. Gorgeous quad. Yeah. I don't know if you can see there. Kind of it's shimmering textures. Um, and basically it's for the for your whole face. So you've got a shimmer, you've got a bronzer, you've got a blusher, you've got a highlighter. For all different parts. For all all different, what's yeah. so clever? She maps it out for you. It says number one, highlight, number two, multi-glow, number three, pop blush, so really in the apples That's of your things. cheeks, and four bronze. So she kind of gives you those step-by-step -step directions. 
I have to say, have it's, you used it? Yet? I really like I it. I like to use it with my fingers because I Do think you? that you get the maximum um, highlight effect with your fingers. So I found when I used it with my brush, I couldn't get it's enough. It's difficult on. with a larger brush. So I think yeah. Charlotte Tilbury do like a small. Maybe I need to get one. Like a smaller, more pointed brush. So I would probably use that for all of these. But she just gets those colours so right. Like that's the perfect blusher. Sorry, I hold it's it up. So the perfect gorgeous. blusher. It's, it's the best highlighter colour because I don't have a pinky highlighter and that's that kind of goldeny oh, And I like to glow. put that just <laughs> under my eyebrows here yeah. to really lift your eyes. And just put it here, yeah. here, it's really just, beautiful. and like you said, you can use your finger, it would be a great thing to take on holiday because yeah. I find, you know when you have a huge makeup bag on holiday and you have all the different Dif things and then they smash when you've got to the yeah. destination and you're all over the show, so this One is literally, palette. this a mascara and an eyeliner. Yeah, because you've got your bronzer, bronzer blusher, blusher and highlighter, job done. So let's talk about our fashion finds that we found for this month that we love. A couple of weeks ago, we did a little roundup on our favorite high street beach dresses, um, but we found two more since I we put that together, which we wanted to show you because they are stunning. I'm gonna start with this dress from New Look, which actually I did show you guys in the black and white version, which is pretty much sold out now, but they bought it out in this beautiful blue, orangey, neutral um, colour palettes as well, which is so, so pretty. Um, I actually, for this shape. one, I've sized up because I'm now a lot larger than I was when I filmed that a couple of weeks ago. Um, but yeah, still works with a bump and it's obviously perfect for non-bump as well. You have it as well and love it. From New Look, such an amazing price. And it's just the details, isn't it? Yeah. The ruffles, the covered buttons. So if you are bigger in the bust department. That's why I love it. It's so good. I wouldn't, see I wouldn't, because I don't have big boobies. I wouldn't notice something like that. Yeah. But when you say it, it's such a good so point. So basically what I'm saying is, can you see all that fabric there that hides underneath the button? So you don't get, even if it pulls slightly, you Which won't see skin. Which people. Yeah. Which is great. So they thought about those details for bigger booby girls. And I think it's really good that it's nipped in at the waist because sometimes if there is no shape to a maxi, it can yeah. just be all it's a bit swampy. too flowy, especially again if you are on the petita side. So this is really flattering and it kind of more under the bust, I think, is yeah, also it is. super flattering. And it's, yeah, it's just a really great dress. So we have to get it in both colourways. Which one have you got? I do feel that sometimes next, they are slightly later to the game with their high summer pieces and mm. some of the other high street shops. Like I feel like Topshop, you see a beach dress in March and you feel like you have to buy it. Whereas next, it's like, okay, you come know on, that you've it's got June. Time. Yeah. <laughs> so this, I feel like it's got it's Melissa Odebash Melissa vibes. Odebash vibes. So it's so cute. Good. And I love these wide sleeves. It kind of gives it that real retro-y 70s, 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 60s vibe. <laughs> it's kind of floor length, which is... It's quite a statement. Like I, I think if you were going on a family I, holiday, no, it's like it would I be. Mean that. Yeah, it probably <laughs> wouldn't be so practical. But you could wear a little white kind of um, slit dress underneath. Has it got slits at the bottom? Yeah, so it's got kind of vents, so it's not going to be impossible to walk in. It just looks really, really expensive. Very I think cheap. with kind of a brownie bikini or a metallic bikini or even black, like the whole monochrome, it just is a great shape. This is a size medium, which I say would be what. A 10. Yeah. Um, and it fits perfectly, it kind of flows in the right places, and yeah, we just thought this was too good not to share. So, how could we not mention these shoes for our monthly favourites? Because I'm sure you they saw are life favorites. <laughs> they are live favourites. I'm sure you saw on Instagram a couple of weeks ago, Sarah and I treated ourselves to a pair, our first pair of Manolo I've got some. from Sample Cell. Yeah. But like our first experience of, of walking going, in yeah, and going to the boutique. I've, that Burlington Arcade is really gorgeous. It's a beautiful, beautiful, like intimate, but Sh still friendly yeah. shop. Um, and we didn't really know which pair we were gonna go for. We felt like we needed to treat ourselves and also, I don't know why, we just, we just, all, we just did. Yeah, we thought we would treat ourselves and also we felt like we really needed a really special go-to pair of shoes yeah. that would go with anything. So we, we weren't actually sure which one we were going to go for, no. but the staff in there were really helpful. And, and we decided a mule was a great <coughs> yeah. style. Um, and I mean, they're just the most special, most delicate, ornate shoe. I mean, they're almost too good to wear, but I have to say, um, seven months, seven and a half months pregnant, I wore them to my baby shower last weekend. I wore them the whole, pretty she much did. the whole day. This. And they were so, I know it sounds ridiculous, and when I stepped out of my house, my mum collected me to take me there. She was a bit like, 
are you sure you're wearing those shoes? Because, they do you know so why they're so comfy? Because Mr. Manolo, yeah, they told us it's in the shop. all all the kind of expertise and everything yeah. goes into the exact shape of the shoe to make sure they're comfortable. So they're not just beautiful shoes; they are renowned for being super comfy. Yeah, and they are. They're super comfy, and also I think the color they will go with. Anything. We decided to go for this color. They do come in a really lovely pale grey. I mean, and every other color under the sun, also. Yeah, but we would. I mean, you know, yeah. between this and the pale grey, but we felt that this would just. Go with absolutely everything and anything. They are slightly bridal, I would say. But I, it depends how you wear them. That's the thing. I think the great thing about these is that, as well as being slightly bridal, they look very smart. But if you team them with, like we shot on Instagram, a raw hem jean yeah. or really casual, it, I love that look together, the kind of mix of really casual and really smart. They do kind of work with... I, th I would literally wear them with anything. Yeah. Maybe not side stripe droppers. <laughs> um, so yeah, we had to mention these. Okay, this is a bit of a weird one. Why? Because it's pyjamas. However, we these aren't even a June favourite because I got them a while ago, but they have been restocked. And I need to share my love for my favourite pyjamas ever bought. They're from ASOS and they are star print. And they are so, so, so sweet. And feel them. So, soft, so and light. soft and light. Because in heavy winter, I do like those thick, kind of almost terry pyjamas. But come now... I, I just can't sleep naked or anything. I know you like to. <laughs> but I can't, so I just like a zip. See, at my set. I know mean, I've ever slept with you, but, well, I have, but we have. you weren't naked. That was me. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Um, I really like thin pyjamas that are soft and not shiny and make you even more sweaty. So these tick all the boxes. And they're so cute. They've got stars and hearts. They're really cool. And actually, I don't know if you can see... They're not too long. The shirt length actually hits you at the waist of the pyjama bottoms, which I've got here. So they don't feel too drowny. That's also sometimes it happens with pyjama bottoms. I just love them. They're really, really fun. And I, I know you guys will too, because I actually put them on my personal Instagram when I got them. And I've never had so many messages about an item of clothing than I did for these pyjamas. Do I need them for my hospital bag? Yes, really? you do. ASOS order, here I come. But I would say, actually, I don't know if you agree with me, I always size up in a pyjama. Always. Because I'd rather have them too big, because after a couple of washes, washes. Yeah. and you stick them in the tumble dryer. So I would size up um, to make sure they're cosy. Okay, so our last theme, lifestyle homeware, which is one of my favourite subjects to talk about in life. Um, so I'm going to start up with this tea towel. Now this isn't just any old tea towel. A friend of ours, which I'm sure you guys know about, and if you don't, you've got to check out her Instagram. We will link it below. Um, Sophie Patterson Interiors. She's an epic she interior designer. She really is. Ahead of the game and a really lovely girl as well, which just makes everything nice, doesn't it? And she very excitingly has just launched her um, debut collection with Co's Linen. So they include all gorgeous linen, towels, bed linen towels, robes, bath, basically towels. yeah, all those beautiful things, accessories in your home, all personalised and monogrammed. And you can get different styles of monogramming in different colours. Yes. Um, so she very kindly sent us these tea towels, which are so fun and also a great gift. Such a good gift. I always feel like when someone moves into their house, you never know what to give or if you're yeah. going for a dinner party or something. And for £20, £20 pounds, and, £20. and I think it's £20 for two. Yeah, £20 so, for two, um, starting from £20. Yeah, so I think it depends it's really on great. the design. So I wanted to shout out and let you guys know about this collection as well because we're huge, huge fans. I feel like I need everything in my house monogrammed I now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that's really cute. So you know how much we love styling a shelf? Shelfie styling is one of our favourite things to do. So this gorgeous number here is from John Lewis. Now you saw it I in Prem Cross, it. didn't you? I've actually been having my eye on the Lux Deco one, yeah. which I think is a, coming up to like, I think it's almost 200 pounds. I mean like, I love a Shelfie, but H&M, Zara, John Lewis do it so well. John Lewis though, I think is, I almost forget, it's not always my go-to, but their accessory pieces are so amazing. And also yeah. when you, I think in store, sometimes I don't think online does them justice. Yes, yeah, But so like you true. said, you, you walked I around and you just through. saw this. I was about to change Alfie's And was it, 35 pounds? <laughs> Um, they do different sizes, so I think this one was about £40. As always, we'll link everything below so you guys can see. They do a bigger one as well, but actually I think for a shelf, this is a good size. This is perfect. Also, what's gorgeous about it is the rose gold here, mm. and I quite like mixing the kind of gold, rose gold yeah. and silver at home. I don't love it to be so matchy-matchy. Came across it, had to buy it, had to show you. So yeah. that was our um, 
Do you want to know this bag? Yeah. Okay, so our last find for homeware for this month is this cutest little doorstop so from Next, which also, I know we mentioned Next for beachwear, but Next homeware. But Next is different. What? It's better online. It, it is <laughs> better online. Although I did buy this in did store. Did you? I did. Ah. I, you know one of those days where you walk into a shop, I had, like, I think Alfie was with my mum, so I had a few hours to kill, and I went into Next, um, I think I was buying some baby grows, as you do. So I obviously wasn't going in there to find this. <laughs> but I saw it and actually it really reminds me of, is it Restor Restoration, Restoration Hardware? Home, hardware, um, which I've got my eye on. I love the whole website. So I think, I mean, I don't even remember how much it was. I think it was about 10 pounds or something. Cute. So, so cute. And actually I was looking for something exactly like this in our bathroom because our bathroom, I think yours is the same actually uh, my door is very close to my shower door yeah. i'm always really worried when alfie runs in he's gonna hit his head or, or on the corner of the sink or anything so i wanted to get a door stop so i could make sure that the door was as open and wide as possible and he loves it as well so it's a bonus you named it <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's what alfie calls it <laughs> every elephant in my house is called ellie <laughs> yeah we'll call him ellie He's nice. Um, I think it definitely goes more upstairs than downstairs, yeah. but it depends on For the style of your home. Or something, though, that would exactly. Do they have any other styles? Yeah, they had a little giraffe as well, which Aww, was really cute. Lovely. I might get it for his bedroom actually. Definitely check out Next Homeware because um, they have some really, really great good bits. bits. And again, I think they're really good at kind of ticking those trends. So whatever that trend might be, let's say it's agate or something, they do give a really yeah. good nod to the trend, and it's affordable. But I do think for next online is definitely better, and they have great. They do same day delivery sometimes, so that's really good. Competing with Prime, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you loved our June favourites. I really do enjoy putting those ones together. Yeah, they're sweet because it kind of comes naturally. We were like, oh, beauty things, this, this, yeah. this, fashion things, this, this, this. And it's a good way, like we said, to be able to share those kind of random things that we stumble across mm -hmm. with you guys in kind of one format. So we'd love to know if you'd like to kind of see it as a monthly thing because it's supposed to be every month, but clearly. You did it in what, in November? But also, I, I guess because we at the moment only have time to film one video a week, Yeah. Um, sometimes it's hard because when you want to show other things, it's hard. But if you guys really yeah, like we'd love this, to hear your feedback. Then we can do it more. Um, and as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week, 7.30, and all the info and the details is linked below. See Bye. You. Bye.